Flourishing Oceans is a strategy to bring the world's oceans back quite literally to flourishing. Our biggest challenge is plastics. Plastics are pouring into the ocean at a rate which is increasing year on year massively and we need a system-wide solution. There's so many great ideas and ventures out there, but if they all collectively work, it'll stop a tiny fraction of the problem. We actually now need a system-wide solution to bring this hideous pollution problem, which will hit us very hard soon, all of us, if we can't bring in such a solution. So what do you think the solution is? Tell me about the conversations that you've been having at this summit with some of your partners. OK, so I've been speaking to scientists, political leaders, business people from all over the world, and we all agree the problem with plastic is that it has no real intrinsic value. We've designed something which is going to last a thousand years. It might break down into micro and nanoplastics, but then it's really poisonous. It doesn't actually break down at all. It just becomes more lethal. We've designed that, yet we only use it for a, for a micro life, yet it's got a macro life. It's, it's more durable than aluminium or steel or glass, yet all those things we recycle, all of those things we wouldn't dump into the ocean. You know, we don't. We, we recycle our iron, we recycle our steel, our aluminium, our glass, but plastic gets dumped. Now, why? It doesn't have an intrinsic value. It costs way more to recycle than it does to dump. So what? So people are dumping it all over the world. And we can complain about that, but we can't stop it. We have to change the economic fundamentals of plastic. And we can do that. We can do that by saying, OK, let's put a tax on the polymer, the raw material which makes the plastic. If we put a substantial tax there, then consumers, citizens of countries, and of course the ocean wins. OK, so a tax on polymer. I know my colleague Matt in Singapore has a question for you on that as well. Yeah, great. I look forward to it. Hi Matt. there, uh, Andrew. Great to see you there. Um, you mentioned that you've been having discussions with political leaders uh, about what you're proposing. What is the willingness from politicians to act on, on something like this? Is there a mood out there for change, a mood out there for greater action? And are there politicians that have the political will to want to do something? I think the world is so short of solutions. You know, when, when you actually bring up a system-wide solution, it's the first time that we've, we've been able to say, actually, there is a way to fix this problem. When you, when you address it to, say, a politician or even a leader of a major oil company, they share with you that it's not actually the oil companies who are going to pay for this. The, the brands, the big consumer product brands are so powerful that they've got oil companies, the global oil companies like those here in Abu Dhabi, to be told treaters of oil to plastic. They get a very small margin. It doesn't have a particular impact on their profits. So if we apply a tax to the, to the polymer, to the raw material, that, that oil subset, then we can completely change the economic fundamentals of plastic and then people won't be throwing out this valuable raw material. They'll be collecting it. They'll be recycling it. That's what the world needs. Hey, everybody. It's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now, to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.